Hello there and welcome, I'm Bob Proctor. Top 10, I got a top 10. Got my motivation high for my top 10. Gotta learn from the wise women and men. All my life, like now. I'm going to talk to you about a subject that literally changed the course of my life. It's a subject not many people understand, but those who do sure live a lot better than the ones who don't. You know, a, a Spanish distiller one time said, to good life's expensive. There's another way to live that doesn't cost as much, but it isn't any good. Well, a lot of what he said is true. Many years ago, a man gave me this book, Think and Grow Rich. I was flat broke. I had always been flat broke. I had never had any money. I was 26 years old. I had two months high school and no business experience. He said, Bob, you read this, do exactly what I tell you. You can have anything you want. Now, I really didn't believe that, but I believed he believed it. And I said, all I want is some money. I figured if I had enough money, all my problems would go away. See, I was earning $4,000 a year, but I was $6,000. If I had paid every cent I owned uh, or earned in 18 months, I would have just broken even. So I really didn't think I was going to be able to change that. Do you know within a year, I was earning $15,000 a month. I went from $4,000 a year to $15,000 a month within a year. Now, I hadn't got that much smarter. You don't have to be very smart to earn money, but you do have to understand some basic rules. And that's what I want to talk to you about. You'll notice here where we put money up on the screen, there's a young lady there and myself. She is my business partner. And I'm going to tell you, if I ever met anyone that understands money, this lady sure does. Sandy Gallagher is an absolutely brilliant woman. She was a securities attorney when I met her, had been in the banking business, in the law side of it, for 20 years. And she had done $100 billion in business. Now, I found that out by asking her, said, how much did you do? She said, 100 billion. I thought, you mean 100 million? She said, no, 100 billion. Now, if you consider it, she was turning banks public. She was buying banks, selling banks, merging banks. So she was dealing in a lot of money all the time. And I thought, that's the kind of person I want to work with. Well, she is my business partner today and has been for the past 10 years. She's absolutely brilliant when it comes to money. Well, that's what I'm going to talk to you about. And that's what I want you to think about. You see, the truth is, you can earn as much every month as you're presently earning in a year. We can show you how to turn your annual income into a monthly income. Now, that may sound like a gross exaggeration, but it is really not. It's the way it happens. Now, here's something that I read in this book when I first started to study it, and I first started to earn some money. It was by Napoleon Hill, and it's called Big Money. Listen very carefully, because when this is done, I'm going to show you how you can execute this. Napoleon Hill said, when money comes in quantities known as the big money, it flows to the one who accumulates it as easily as water flows downhill. Now, he says there exists a great stream of power, which can be compared to a river, except that one side flows in one direction, carrying all who get into that side of the stream onward and upward to wealth. And the other side flows in the opposite direction, carrying all who are unfortunate enough to get into that side uh, and not able to extricate themselves from it, downward to misery and poverty. Now he said, every person who has accumulated a great fortune has recognized the existence of this stream of life. It consists of one's thinking process. The positive emotions of thought form the side of the stream which carries one to fortune. The negative emotions form the side which carries one down to poverty. Now he said this carries a thought of stupendous importance to the person who is following what we're talking about here with the object of accumulating a fortune. If you are on the side of the stream of power which leads to poverty, this may serve as an oar by which you may propel yourself to the other side of the stream. It can serve you only through application and use. Merely reading and passing judgment on it either one way or another 
will in no way benefit you. Now he says, poverty and riches often change places. Poverty may, and generally does, voluntarily take the place of riches. But when riches take the place of poverty, the change is usually brought about through well-conceived and carefully executed plans. Poverty needs no plan. It needs no one to aid it because it is bold and ruthless. Riches are shy and timid. They have to be attracted. Now, of course, we talked about that in The Secret. You've got to attract it. Well, I think you're going to enjoy this. First of all, money has to be earned, and there is a law that governs this whole universe. Everything operates by a law. Well, Emerson wrote beautifully, Ralph Waldo Emerson, on the law of compensation. And the law of compensation is exact. The law of compensation clearly states the amount of money you earn will be in exact ratio to these three points. Number one, the need for what you do. The need for what you do. Number two, your ability to do it. And number three, the difficulty there will be in replacing you. Now think of that. Number one, the need for what you do. Number two, your ability to do it. And number three, the difficulty there is in replacing you. Now, odds are pretty good. The need for what you do is already there. You don't have to do anything about that. Number three will be taken care of if you take care of number two. You may want to think about this for a little while. I thought about it for a long while. And I realized it's pretty true. So you see, you only have to focus on one of those three points. And that is number two, your ability to do it. Whatever you're doing, you want to get better at it. Just keep working at getting better at what you're doing. And there isn't any competition. You're the only comp competition you're ever going to have. Master whatever you do. Master it. Now, I want you to think of this. There are only three strategies for earning money. Just three strategies. Pay close attention. It's M1, M2, and M3. Now, before I start into them, here's something you want to burn into your mind. If you don't teach your children how to earn money, odds are pretty good they're not going to learn. School does not teach us how to earn money. You can go all the way through school. You can go to Harvard, Oxford, Stanford. Won't matter. They do not teach you how to earn it. They'll teach you how to invest it. They'll teach you how to store it. They'll teach you how to count it. But they do not teach you how to earn it. Now, there's three strategies. If you're going to teach your children, you teach them number three. But let's start with number one. Number one strategy is used by 96% of the population, and it won't work. It never has worked. This is where you trade your time for money. You see, this, this strategy has an inherent problem. It's called saturation. It, it, you run out of time. I don't care how effective you are. I don't care how much you earn an hour. You're going to run out of time. You're trading your time for money. It doesn't work. It does not work. Number two is an excellent strategy, but it's only used by 3% of the population. Number two is where you invest money to earn money. Now, people in the number one strategy, they hear about this, and so they squirrel a little bit of what they're earning away, and they invest it, but they don't understand how to invest it, and they usually lose it. If you're going to invest money, you really got to know what you're doing or go to somebody that has proved that they know what they're doing. Number three is where you invest money to earn money. Now, the first two strategies are not the one you want to focus on. Here's the one you want to focus on, number three. It's only used by approximately one person out of a hundred. This is where this group earns almost all the money. 96% of all the money that's earned goes to a very small select group of people. And I'm going to tell you something. I used to think they were really smart. Some of them aren't very smart. I was earning over a million dollars a year, and I started to analyze what the heck was I doing? How was I doing it? I had stumbled on M3. I didn't know what I was doing, but I was doing it. I had been raised to believe if you're going to earn a lot of money, you've got to be really smart. I knew I wasn't that smart but I was earning a fair amount of money. M3 is used by 1% of the population, 
but they are 96% of all the money. These people multiply their time by setting up multiple sources of income. Now that's the strategy. How do you set up multiple sources of income? Well, some people get that mixed up with multiple jobs. That's not multiple jobs, it's multiple sources of income. The truth is, you can set up sources of income where you're earning money while you're sleeping. And it's never been easier than it is today. With the internet and with the way we're working, man, you can make it happen. So here we are back again. What we want to do is show you how to turn your annual income into a monthly income. Now pay attention because this is super important. It's very, very important. This can be accomplished by having multiple sources of income. You check back in history, you're going to find all wealthy people have always had multiple sources of income. They didn't have one, they had all kinds of different sources of income. I'm not quite sure how many I've got. I don't even look after them, I have somebody else look after them. Sandy's got a team of people, my business partner, that looks after our sources of income. Now keep standing here, listen to what we're saying. Our world is changing, make no mistake about it. Do you know Alvin Toffler wrote a book way back around 1970 called Future Shock and he talked about the changes that were coming. Well, I was working with Earl Nightingale and Lloyd Conant in 1970 and that was a very popular book around the Nightingale Conant Corporation. We were all studying it and we were laughing at some of the predictions. We'll say this could never possibly happen. Well, move ahead to 40 or 50 years, Toffler fell short. He didn't predict it big enough. Now he just passed away here a while ago, but he said something before he died that maybe you should remember. He said the illiterate of the 21st century will not be the people who cannot read and write. They're going to be the people who cannot learn, unlearn, and relearn. Most of what we've learned up to this point, we're going to have to unlearn and then we're going to have to learn some new rules. Now I am unlearning and learning all the time. And I'll tell you something I've learned. Our world is changing. It is not getting bigger. The world is getting smaller. It is shrinking. And here's something else. This is very important. You can have business all over the world through multiple sources of income. Here's the question you want to ask. How much do you want? How much do you want? Because you can set up sources of income all over the place. Now, I do have multiple sources of income. Our company structured that way. We train consultants in our business to teach what we teach. They have multiple sources of income. If I were starting over today, I would probably go into network marketing because it is probably the easiest way to set up multiple sources of income. Now, the fact is that most people that go into it never earn any money is another thing. They're just not working with the right people. Study the real heavy hitters. They all have multiple sources of income and they have money coming at them from all over the world. It's a beautiful thing to understand. Doesn't matter where you live, you can be setting up sources of income all over the globe. You can just keep setting them up. You like the idea, don't you? Well, I'm going to tell you something. You are capable of doing this. We teach this in our programs. Now, we don't only teach this way. There's all kinds of ways. And you'll say, well, are all the sources of income that you have the same size? No. Some are big or some are small, but they all have one thing in common. Although they're big or small, they all flow in to your bank. That's right. When you have a source of income, it comes into your bank and it just keeps adding up and up and up. Now, just keep watching. It just keeps coming and it comes into your bank big and small, it's a beautiful thing to know. How much do you want to earn? Watch this video often, share it with your friends. Not multiple jobs, multiple sources of income. Now Napoleon Hill was talking about the big money. What did he say? It's a mental thing. It's all in your mind. I don't care what you've done in the past, I can tell you this. You watch this often enough. You study the material that our company, the Proctor Gallagher Institute, put out. 
You'll learn how to earn money because we teach them. We teach many things. We teach how to control our own thinking process. So I want to thank you, and I look forward to seeing you in a seminar. Sandy Gallagher and I spent all our time teaching this information. Thank you for tuning in.